Okay guys, I've got a little story to tell you today. That happened well last week and just wanna tell you about it so you know a bit more about it. If that makes any sense, which I know it doesn't. So it was one week ago. And hi mate, got a visitor. Oh that's great. So, well, the whole reason I came in here today is I was just going to say I don't really do much fun stuff over the holidays and things. Sometimes I do the little puzzles in the paper, but I never really get anything majorly fun, and I don't even earn much money to buy anything for fun. So I was thinking I make my own puzzle, and then other people can create them as well. My, my puzzles, so I can have more fun, and I can earn money for it by selling big books of them. Sounds like a good idea. Okay, I'll do it. Well, how did I get here? I don't know, but, well, that's what happened in that part of the story, and so I went on to create this puzzle, which can provide fun and I can earn a bit of money from selling these puzzles to people and it can go in the paper and everything and I'd be famous but I just had to work out exactly what puzzle I needed to do because there were just so many out there I felt like every idea had been taken but I knew it hadn't I knew there'd be one just one idea maybe just one idea lying around somewhere which could create such fun but I had to work out what. I'm finished, I'm finished. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, Zalinretzel. It's pronounced Zalinretzel. And, well, this is the puzzle. So it's sometimes a 4x4 four four grid, but it can get to bigger, like 6x6 six six and... 8 by 8 and then it can get bigger but I've just done that for now and so what the idea is is that little weird symbol there where is it means this number is the same as this number this symbol means this is bigger than this and this symbol means this is bigger than this okay now, you might think that's impossible to work out, right? Yes, yes, it does. But, you have to work out diagonals as well. So, this row here, 1, 2, and 3. There's 3 in the row, and we've got numbers 1 and 2. So, this one has to be a 3, which makes this one a 3. And the diagonals just work like that. These three diagonals and these three diagonals as well. This puzzle's quite good, I like this. I think it could be fun. This puzzle's really, really good. I reckon you're going to make a fortune out of this. Well, you know, this is actually quite good. I wouldn't be surprised if this became popular. And so the word spread about the, the, about the Zalen Rätsel which is actually German for number puzzle, in case you were wondering. But it it was just so fun, and people absolutely loved it. It just got so famous, and I got rich. However, there was one little problem about that. Oh, so this makes this a one. One something, three something. 
So this here is either a 2 or a 4. It has to be a 2 because if it was a 4, this row wouldn't make sense. 4, 2. The only thing lower than 2 is a 1. So 1, 3. So this one has to be a 2. So this has to be a 2 because of that symbol. This one, this number here has to be a 3 because if it was a 4, the other row wouldn't make sense. So this hand has to be a 2 because if that was a 4, there would have been a number missing. So this one here. He has to be a three. So there's two, one, something, something. This one has to be the four in the corner. As in this one has to be three and this other one has to be two. Because if the four wasn't in the corner, it'd mess up this line here. Send to friends. And this was when the bad news came in. Matt, I have some bad news for you. I was looking for some of your Zalantrasil puzzles online. I found this. A person called Mr. Exvaluiva. I started to research about him and it turns out he made Salim Tvatsel puzzle before you, as he created it before you knew you had lost all your fortune. Every penny is going to Mr. Valley with that. I'm very sorry about that. Mm, I don't know how to react. It's just very sad that I've lost all my fortune. And so, yeah, I went back to being a normal normal child, not making any more money. And I'm okay by that. Not as great as I could have been, but yeah. So that was the story I was going to tell you about today. The whole reason I was telling you this story is so I can wait to get in the bathroom. Ugh. I think someone set up camp in there. Hear the radio going on all the time. Uh, I'll go, well, I'll see if they got done yet. They're not.